Upon arrival, the police easily found Ray and Jenny's camp. It was still fully intact and appeared to be undisturbed. Of course, they searched the immediate area, but there appeared to be no sign of the two of them and no sign about where they possibly could have gone. And so a few days into the search for Ray and Jenny, investigators learned that a group of campers in the area made a statement. They had been coming through the area and discovered a mine shaft north of the abandoned camp that smelled, quote, horrible. One officer shone their flashlight down into the opening of the mine shaft, but they couldn't see all the way to the bottom of the mine. The second officer found a dead kangaroo nearby and the two determined that that was the cause of the smell and the flies. On April 8th, 2015, the couple had already been missing for almost two weeks and this story really blew up. It was especially well known in Western Australia. There are dozens of new stories and articles all speculating on what could have happened to these two very experienced campers. One Perth reporter working on their coverage of the story asked some fire and rescue workers to help them get some good footage of the type of work the rescuers do. So the group stopped at the top of a mine entrance that had already been cleared in the investigation, the one with the dead kangaroo nearby, and a rescue worker by the name Ashley Gasmer strapped into his gear and rappelled into the shaft. As he reached the bottom, he began shouting. 